All right, people. As you can see on the screen here, we have some spoilers slash leaks. Pretty early, I'd say, for Dragon Ball Super Episode 67. I mean, really and truly, long gone are the days when you would just like watch a series or an anime and all you would have is the next episode preview. With the internet, a lot of spoilers, <laughs> chance of spoilers that is, have been opened up to say, say the least. But yeah, getting into it, so of course, as usual, our friend Herms here on Twitter, Herms98, go check him out if you haven't, has translated um, the latest episode, well, episode 67's overview. And apparently this will be airing on November 20th, so that's good, we won't be getting any breaks. So episode 67 reads, fill, fill your heart with new hope, farewell trunks. So, mm, going by that side, I wonder if the arc is going to be end there. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Okay, so here we go. Will they be able to protect the future? The final battle with Zamasu. Powered by the hopes of humanity, Trunks strikes back at Zamasu. But while Zamasu was supposed to be defeated, he instead loses his physical body and begins spreading out and covering the sky. Goku this week. Finding the last ace up his sleeve to counter Zamasu. Now that Zamasu has lost his physical body, Goku and Ko are once more in dire straits. Just as all hope seems lost, Goku finds something in his pocket. Wow. I mean, okay, let me break this down for you people. So, judging by that first, I guess, well, I wouldn't call that paragraph, but yeah, that first half of the episode overview there, it seems that Vegito does manage to, I guess, destroy Zamasu's body. So I'm guessing... What the producer was saying, I did a video on that yesterday, well, no, that was today, wow, I'll just link it, but yeah, he was saying that the fact that Zamasu, his weakness at this point could be tied to the fact that he was originally, he's, his merge form is still originally him, it's one person, and the fact that Goku Black, who's not immortal, is actually a part of Fusion, so I'm guessing that's what's happening with that, that side of his face we see in the preview episode 66. So I guess Vegito does manage to get the job done. So, but the thing is, the thing here now is he's still immortal at the end of the day. So I guess if his body's destroyed, I guess Goku Black being in the mix allows them to destroy his body. But at the end of the day, he's still not really and truly dead. Hence why we get that part in the second half of this episode. Um, description slash overview that apparently starts spreading probably in some mist form who knows but the intro one of the interesting parts here and I kind of predicted it is that um, when Goku finds something in his pocket obviously we know what that is the Zeno button it, it's clear as day a lot of people didn't really want to I guess this to happen because like a get out of trouble card uh, and people thought it would kind of just kill the tension but this arc even these last few episodes have done a great job in building the tension so after getting all this epic shits um getting to see Zeno step in which I predicted I feel yeah Zeno's gonna step in him and probably the top five fighters in the multiverse I see them coming in so I'm actually kind of hyped for that um, I don't think after all of this epic action and tension building that after all of this that using the Zeno button would be a bad thing, honestly. It would really be a way to tie into what's gonna come for the next arc to say the least. If they play their cards right and introduce some key players, uh, I guess that could appear with Zeno, then we have a good... They're basically setting up things really well for the next art then, if things are played right there, once Goku presses that button. So, we'll see what happens there. And I guess it would be a good display to see how, well, what Zeno can do, like, instead of just telling us. So, there you have it. Um, it kind of hurts my heart to hear that this arc is ending. It's been pretty good, to say the least. So... <sighs> there you have it folks so Sanjay Uchiha 
rate, comment, subscribe, share this video out, get the news out. Um, as I said, look out for my predictions video tomorrow. Even though I think I'm trying to go more in depth on what I was saying in terms of Zeno and probably the top five fighters in the multiverse showing up. So, until then, Sanjay Uchiha out.